Uh, the main defendant is Gus Alex, standing there on the left, shaking hands with Sam Carlisi on the right. He rose up the ranks in the Chicago outfit and became a high-ranking associate, right under Paul Rica and Tony Ricardo, known as the political fixer. He controlled all your senators, all your aldermen, all your judges, all the police, Vice President Agnew, up, all the way up to the White House, Nixon. He also controlled all the Swiss bank accounts. Here's Ron Safer, along with Chris Gere, back in the early 90s, two of the best U.S. attorneys in Chicago. And it's ironic now they're two of the best defense attorneys in Chicago. Back in the early 90s, they were very successful prosecuting Gus Alex, Lenny Patrick, Nick Geo, Mario Renone, and the other defendants. You're going to hear from all the witnesses, and here's some of the evidence. Now, a few days before Lenny Patrick was set to testify against Gus Alex, little Jimmy had a bomb placed at Lenny Patrick's daughter's front porch, hoping that this would deter Lenny Patrick from testifying. But what the outfit leaders didn't know that was that Lenny Patrick hadn't talked to his daughters in years and had no relationship with her. Now, the government's main witness was this low-life informant, Lenny Patrick, the worst man I've ever laid eyes on. He admitted on the stand that he knew Gus Alex over 40 years. He robbed over 100 banks, and he killed over 22 people. He committed perjury on the stand. He was the leader of the violent extortion crew. He also wore a wire on Gus Alex where they exchanged money, and yet the jury still believed him. Now, one of the defendants who would never rat, who stood trial, was Mario Renon, a heavyweight made member of the Chicago outfit and a member of the Lenny Patrick extortion crew. One car, say, one car dealership testified that he walked in there, demanded 300000 or he was going to plant him and his family in the garden in front. That's Mario Renon. Now, one thing I, th I thought was pretty interesting at the Gus Alex trial was the prosecution, uh, Ron Seifer and Chris Gere, they had a few of the doctors at Northwestern Memorial Hospital downtown testify that Lenny Patrick and Gus Alex would relay messages and sometimes pass on bags of cash through the doctors. That They used the doctors as a go-between. Here's James Lavelli an associate of the Chicago Outfit, a defendant in the case, part of the Lenny Patrick crew, who decided to flip and cooperate against his good friends Nick Geo, Mario Renone, Lenny Patrick. He was even able to tie in Gus Alex. You're going to hear about him walking into local businesses, threatening violence, demanding money. Here's Gus Alex arriving to court one day. His nephew, Dimitri, told me in court that Gus Alex underestimated the prosecution. And he didn't think that a jury would find a dangerous criminal like Lenny Patrick credible. He had all the money in the world. He could have disappeared into Europe and nobody would ever have seen him again. Gus Alex and all the defendants were found guilty based on Lenny Patrick's testimony.